Welcome to Spiritual Way. Generally, I think that human beings suffer because of um, a lack of nourishment uh, of various different needs, right? So the human being has psychological needs, emotional needs, but also spiritual needs. And when, when any of these needs are not met, the human will suffer. So, for example, our most essential need are our spiritual needs, our connection with God. That is our spiritual oxygen, if you will. When a person doesn't have that uh, in their life is not, or it's not sufficient, it's just very simple equation, just like a, a body that is um, deprived of oxygen or low on oxygen or not having enough. Uh, they'll, they'll suffer. The body will suffer. So the human being will also suffer if the spiritual oxygen is not sufficient meaning our relationship with God, um, you know, and, and, and in particular, the remembrance of Allah, dhikr. And dhikr, of course, um, includes all of the, um, you know, salah, Qur'an, adhkar, dua, you know, going back to Allah, um, having conversations, you know, having Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, as, as a friend who you speak to. All of that, that is all part of the remembrance. Without the remembrance of Allah, it's um, the, 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 the heart becomes deprived and just like the body becomes deprived if it's, if it's missing oxygen. But then there's another element um, of why um, we, we suffer as human beings. And that has to do with the trauma aspect. And I think that one thing I've observed about our community as Muslims is that we have um, a very high level of generational trauma. Um, meaning that uh, we, we've, we've been through a lot uh, socially and economically and politically. And, and, and when a child grows up in a, in, in a home where there is trauma, and that can come in various forms, whether that is um, physical abuse or um, emotional, psychological, verbal abuse, um, neglect, abandonment, uh, all, all the different types of, uh, any type of trauma. And that child grows up in that environment. And if that child doesn't address it, doesn't heal it, uh, then what happens is that when that child uh, grows up and gets married and has, an, has a child, that individual passes on the trauma to the next generation and so on and so forth. And so what you end up with is these generations of trauma being passed on because we're not really stopping and breaking that cycle. And so what I see is that generally there's these two parts. There's the, the trauma aspect and then there's the spiritual deprivation. And when you have that, uh, the human will suffer. And until you address both of these elements. Now, with regards to the Muslim community, you, you touched upon something I think is very important, which is that there's a lot of sometimes focus on the external rituals.